This is Celtics post game. I'm Justin St. Peter with co host Bobby Kelly and Ryan St. Peter. The Celtics just got eliminated from the NBA playoffs, losing game six of the NBA Finals 103 to 90 to the Golden State Warriors. Stephen Curry was a huge factor in the game, scoring 34 points, and he hit threes left and right, including a dagger three to end it late in the fourth quarter. What do you guys think about the performance from Steph Curry, and does that cement him as the best point guard of all time? I think Steph Curry had a great performance, hitting dagger threes left and right. He's a clutch player, one of the best point guards to ever play, one of the best three-point shooters ever. And I think that just cemented his career, winning his first finals MVP, winning his fourth finals. Uh, I don't think that Curry is the best point guard of all time. I think he's the best shooter of all time, but I say Magic Johnson is the best point guard in history. What do you? Yeah, Curry. Curry sure played a huge factor in the game. I think that he's now the best point guard of all time. And winning four four finals now, and he finally got that Finals MVP he was looking for. I think that puts him past Magic Johnson. What do you guys think about Jalen Brown's performance? Jalen Brown did score a lot of bo- points, but lots of turnovers, which costed the Celtics many easy buckets, which could have led the game to a win, but Jalen Brown still amazing performance. Want Jason Tatum, just average performance, just been inconsistent this playoffs, been scoring a lot, been scoring a little, many turnovers, just not helping the Celtics win. The Celtics have had too many tur- turnovers in the entire series, not even just in that game. Jalen Brown wasn't doing anything that would made a big difference, neither than Tatum or basically the whole entire roster. Yeah, I agree that Jalen Brown, his turnover issue definitely did not help them at all the series. And in the, in the end of games, just like game four, when they could have closed it out and took a 3-1 lead, turnovers like the ones that were happening to Jalen Brown tonight killed them. And it wasn't even just Jalen Brown. Jason Tatum was also committing turnovers, and that's just been a problem for the whole team, for this whole series. Uh, wh- where do you guys think the Celtics will go from here, heading into the offseason, after coming so close to their ultimate goal of winning the finals? I believe that they're going to get some pieces in the offseason to make that championship run again and finally win. They were two games away from winning the NBA Finals. I think they can do it the next year. Uh, I don't. I don't think unless they make moves, I don't think they'll be able to go back to the finals. May- maybe, maybe go back to the finals. I don't think they're a championship caliber team if they don't they should make moves in the off season if they don't then I don't think they're a good enough team to win the NBA finals. They definitely need some extra pieces because you can't just sit on your hands and expect to improve over the off season. I think one of their biggest needs is a true point guard. Marcus Smart showed that well he's a really good leader and he's great on the defensive end. He can't really anchor an offense as much as a true point guard would. So I think first on their list in the offseason should be getting that true point guard. And one of the biggest factors besides turnovers in the loss was only having eight or nine in rotation. They need to expand that. What do you guys think should be their biggest priority this offseason? I think point guard position needs to be uh, needs work, but also the big man. We, have, we need more depth at that center position. We only really have Robert Williams as a true bit, uh, center, so I think center is a big need. Yeah, uh, point guard and probably center, too. Just like, like They're not a championship caliber team if they don't make any moves. And uh, Yeah, I agree with that, and uh, that'll do it. Celtics lose 103 to 90 and their season comes to a devastating end. We'll see you next season. Good night.